In this video, I'm going to show you how to install a bathroom sink. And if you're new to this channel, my name's Josh. It shows all about building your own house saving ton of money. So be sure to subscribe, ring that bell so you get a notification every time I release a new video, and hammer that like button for me. That's all I ask in turn for making this video. So we got a lot to do today, so let's get started. First step to installing the sink is installing the vanity. The vanity is what holds the sink. So I'm now going to remove this sink top and then install this vanity. If you're installing a bathroom sink in a house that already has the water turned on, be sure to turn the water off to that bathroom before installing the sink. As you can see, I got an inch and a half pipe here that's the drain, a hot water line, and a cold water line. And since my water lines are coming up through the floor, I'm going to have to drill out holes inside this vanity in order to set the water lines into the vanity. So I'm gonna drill these holes out, get a couple measurements for that, and then we'll address this drain pipe. For me to get my marks, I know I need to measure over seven and a quarter and 15 and a quarter. Now this is gonna be different for everybody, so you're gonna to have to get your own measurements here. There's no such thing as universal measurements for this. And now I need to come off the back here, just a little over two and a half inches, so about right there. So I know I need to cut right here in the center. And then on this side, same thing, come off the wall about a little over two and a half inches. So right there. So I need to drill out two three quarter inch holes here and I'm gonna be using this three quarter drill bit to do this. I'm now gonna take my shop back and clean this up real quick. I'm first going to address the drain lines and then the water lines. And the reason why I like to go in that sequence is while I'm cutting this drain line, the dirt won't be falling down into the water lines. When I did this last time, I had to put bags over the water lines because I cut them first. But what I'm going to do is measure off this collar and come over about an inch in order to attach this Marvel adapter to the drain line. And this adapter is an inch and a half to an inch and a quarter slip joint. So that way my P-trap can go into this. I can just hold this up here and mark the distance in which I got to cut. So right here it looks adequate. And I'm going to use a reciprocating saw with a metal blade because the metal blade gives me a finer cut. And when we cut this, we need to make sure we cut it relatively square. Now I'm going to take my utility knife and deburr this pipe on the outside and also on the inside. And you literally just got to scrape the edges in order to take the burrs off. And because a decent amount of paint got on this pipe when we were painting, I'm just going to take a little bit of sandpaper and clean it off really well. And it doesn't hurt to hit the inside of this pipe really well because any of the burrs that are sticking inside of the pipe can easily catch hair and cause a clog. I'm now going to prime this fitting and this pipe using purple primer. And as you notice, I got pasteboard down here on the floor so that way if any drops down, it's going to hit this pasteboard. I'm now going to use PVC cement to glue this fitting onto the pipe. And when you put your fitting on, give it a nice quarter turn as you push it on and then hold it into place for at least 20 seconds. Now you can release. I'm now going to cut these water lines up off the floor 10 inches. I'm going to use this ratchet cutter to cut the pipe. And I'm now going to clean off these pipes because as you can see there's a little paint on them as well. Now we're going to clean this up and set the vanity into place. I'm now just going to set the vanity right up next to those pipes and then I'm just going to tilt it back and then guide those pipes into those holes. Now we're going to lean it right back into place. I'm now just going to take a two foot level and place it around the vanity to see where the low spots are. If I check it from here, it looks like it's a little low here, about an eighth. And this is showing the same. And then across here looks pretty good. And he's come a little bit there too. So put two little shims in the back here. Then we're going to place that vanity back down. I got a couple shims. This one's going to go in this back corner. I already broke it down to about an eighth. And this one's going to slide in from the side in order to lift it up a little bit. I'm now going to anchor this vanity using deck screws. And I'm first going to locate the stud. I'm just going to take the screw and drive it into this drywall where the top's going to be so you won't see it. So I'm going to locate it first. And I got lucky. I hit it right here. I knew it should be about there, but I'm never right on the first time. Then after we locate it, I'm just going to drill out this vanity with an eighth inch drill bit. And now I'm just going to anchor it using that screw. 
Now you want to be careful here not to drive this in too much because it will lift up the front of the Vandy if you do. So I'm just going to snug it up really well. And I know there's a stud back here in this corner, so I'm going to hit it as well. The vanity is now secured in the place. First gonna install the faucet and drain, which is in this box before I set the top. It's way easier to do it now than later. And if you wanna purchase this exact one, I'll put a link in the description below in order to pick it up. So if you open up this box, as you can see, we got our drain and all the parts for it. And down below, we got our actual faucet. And this already has the drain lines attached, which is a very nice feature. You don't have to buy these separate. And as you can see, there's plenty of length on it to install it. And then we got our gasket and then a little tool to remove the end of the faucet if you have to. In order to work on this by myself, I went ahead and propped this up on these foam blocks. I'm first gonna unscrew the top of this drain and you can use what's called plumber's putty to go around this lip or you can use 100% silicone. And I've done videos in the past using the plumber's putty. If you wanna check out that video, look at the top right hand corner of the screen and go check it out. But with the silicone, I'm just gonna run it right around this rim. After you place the liberal mount around the rim, we're just going to take this piece and go around back and then take this piece and fish it down into this hole. So it's gonna go something like this. We're gonna place it there and then this goes into here. And this is just going to thread onto this. Now that's the biggest problem with silicone. It always makes a much bigger mess than the plumber's putty. I'm now gonna take the faucet with the gasket that it came with and we're gonna fish this gasket onto the faucet like so. And then once you get up here, to the actual faucet, it's gonna go right around the brass fittings here like this. And now once you got the gasket on, we're just gonna fish our water lines into the holes that are for the water lines. Now I'm gonna take this wing nut and fish it over the water lines. Now take the other wing nut and do the same thing. Now hand tighten those on fairly tight. I'm now gonna remove this nut off the drain right here. And then we're gonna take the piece that came off the drain from the inside and fish it down into the drain. And now this is gonna go right down into the drain. And then we're gonna place this nut back over it and snug it up really well. I'm now gonna take this piece and fish it down in through the top of the faucet and it's gonna come right out into the bottom of the sink. And then take this piece and it slides right over that bar. And then we're gonna just experiment here and see which distance works the best. Place this metal piece on after we have a good idea. Now after you get it adjusted where it needs tightened, we're just gonna tighten this nut up that's right here on this piece. And I wouldn't tighten it up too hard in case you have to address this later for whatever reason. And now I'm gonna adjust this wrench and tighten up this donut underneath. And now we'll set this on the vanity. And if your wall's not perfectly square, like this one, it ain't perfectly square, you do have to shift it one way or the other to kind of split the difference. So I got just a little crack here and a little crack here and we're tight back in this corner, but it's just the reality of the situation. So that looks pretty good there. We're now here under the sink and as you can see, this P-trap is gonna to have to go on here and we are way too high to hit back into where we installed that adapter earlier. And if you take a look, as you can see, after it's on, it's gonna be way up here. So what I had to do is get what's called a extender for the tailpipe here. And all this does is just gonna slide right up over. I'm first gonna install this wing nut and washer onto the sink. And now we're gonna take our tailpipe and slide it right over the sink drain. And then we're gonna tighten this up. And all of these joints are called slip joints that's here under the sink. I'm now gonna take this nut off the adapter. I'm now gonna slide this nut and washer right over the P-trap. And just so you know, you put the tapered in facing towards the adapter. 
I'm now gonna hold the P-trap right up against the wall because the end of this will go back into this adapter. You can go an inch or two, it really doesn't matter as long as you don't go clear back to the elbow in the wall. So if we want it right here, I'm gonna measure the distance from my tailpipe to the center of the P-trap here. And it looks like I need to cut off about three and a half inches. So I'm just gonna cut this off about three and a half inches so it'll go back into this hole. Now after I got it cut, as you can see, there's burrs around the edges and on the inside of the hole. And we need to make sure we take our utility knife and deburr this. Now that we got the end deburred really well, we're just going to install it back into this adapter. I'm now just going to place this nut in this washer over this piece. And you might have to lift up on the sink in order to get all this in in one shot. All right, now it's as simple as tightening up all of the connections. And don't forget to tighten up this joint either. And now let's address the water lines. To install the water lines, I'm going to be using the Shark Bite connector. And this is a half inch to 3 8 connection. And this part's the 3 8 And I'm first going to remove this nut up top because I will not be using the compression fitting. And now, as you can see, this is going to slide right on top of this water line. And we know we need to come down almost an inch. So I always visualize a mark about an inch below and make sure I hit it. So I'm just going to hold this pipe tight and press down on it until it stops. All right, now we are down all the way. And now we just turn this part around and cover up the connection. This is the water line coming off the faucet. And as you can see, it's red for hot and it's going to go to the hot side. After it's hand tightened, we're going to take a crescent wrench and then we're going to tighten it up really snug. And that's all there is to connecting the water lines. As a final review, I got a inch and a quarter tailpipe with an inch and a quarter P-trap going back to an inch and a half pipe. And I got my water lines hooked with the shark bite. And these are three eighths to half inch shark bites. And that's all there is to it. Here's another sink I did earlier. And as you can see, you may also have your water lines coming out through the wall, which is much easier and quicker to do because you don't have to drill out the bottom of the cabinet. After water testing the sink, I did notice a leak in the drain and that's because the metal tailpipe came apart in two places and I did not know it had this. So just so you're aware, you do have to put pipe dope and teft tape on the joint of the metal pipe. Now that all the plumbing's hooked up and the top is sitting exactly where we want it, I'm now going to take 100% silicone, and this is silicone rated for bath and kitchens. And I'm just going to go right around the edge with a nice bead and then smooth it out. Now once that silicone sets up, this top isn't going anywhere. I'm now going to run a nice bead right here back along the wall and where the backsplash meets. And back here against the wall, I'm going to go ahead and place silicone here, but I'll probably order a piece of backsplash that fits in here. But for now, I'm just going to give it a nice water seal. This sink turned out really nice. And whenever you turn the water on, be sure to inspect all of your plumbing underneath the sink because if you're going to have any leaks, you want to catch them right away. And if you want to know how to install a double vanity, Check out this video, it'll help you out.